Welcome guys. As given in the question, we have to draw the involute of a circle. Uh, to start that, let us draw a circle with a given diameter 50 mm. So the radius will be 25 mm. Okay, once you completed drawing the circle, we have to divide that circle into 8 equal parts or 12 equal parts. Now I am going to divide into 8 equal parts. Actually, we have to use drafter to draw exact vertical and horizontal lines. As I don't have drafter now, I am drawing using this simple scale. I have to divide it by drawing a vertical line and by drawing a horizontal line. Then a line at 45 degrees that should be measured using a drafter or a protractor. And again a 45 degree towards the left hand side. Now let us name these points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And then draw a line at the base of the circle by having its perimeter at its length. The diameter of the circle is 50 mm. So the perimeter should be 3.14 into 50 that is 157 mm. So I am drawing a line here that should be having a length of 157 mm and now we have to divide this line into 8 equal parts like we divided this circle so for that we can use this technique draw an inclined line at any angle and divide that line into 8 equal parts by having 8 centimeters so then connect the last point to the last point of this perimeter length. Then we'll draw parallel lines so that we can get equal sized divisions in the line. All these lines should be perfectly parallel. Actually we have to use drafter for this. Let us name these points. This is 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash and 8 dash. Actually if you use drafter all these lengths should be equal. It will be equal. Since I am using a simple scale there is a small difference. Then draw perpendicular lines from all these dividing lines. So now I am taking this line 7. I am drawing a perpendicular line. If you have drafter, keep a scale parallel to that line. Another scale will be perpendicular to that. Now I am not having drafter so that I am drawing using this simple scale. Similarly, keep this line parallel to the line 6 and I am drawing a line here. Now I have drawn perpendicular lines from all the points and take a compass and measure the distance between this base point and 1 
and cut an arc from one to that point. Similarly, from the base point to two, and cut an arc from this two to this point. So we'll be getting points. Let us name this point as P1, P2. Similarly, we will get this is P3. P4 P5 P6 7 and finally P8 will be the point here. So name all these points. This is P2, this is P3, P4, P5, P6, P7 and P8. So now we have to connect all these lines using a smooth curve. So we have to initially draw a rough or a thin line over that and we have to darken that. Okay, if you want to have more closer points, we can divide this circle into 12 equal parts. Similarly, we have to divide this line also into 12 equal parts. So now we have done a simple uh, involute of a circle. And then we need to draw the tangent and normal as given in the question. We need to draw the tangent and normal at 80 mm from this center. So let us take 80 mm in our compass. and find where the point lies. So this will be the point where the tangent and normal comes. From that line connect the center And from the midpoint of the circle, the circle is having, uh, this line is having a length of 8 mm, so take 4 mm, that, that is the midpoint of this line. And from this midpoint of this line, draw an arc. And this arc will cut this circle at one point. So now connect that point to the point already that we have described. And this is the normal for this cycloid, for this involute. So if you draw a perpendicular line to this, that will be the tangent for this. If you have drafted, keep your scale, one of your scale parallel to this and another scale will be perpendicular to that. So we can easily draw. And as I am having 
only a simple scale I am using this technique. This is the tangent of your involute. So now we have drawn the tangent the normal of the involute that we have drawn. So first we have drawn the simple circle and then we have divided circle into eight equal parts and then we have drawn a straight line from the base by having length of pi d and then we have divided that uh, line into eight equal parts and we have extended the points from one to seven uh, by keeping the line perpendicular to the line from which it is having and after ex extending all these lines we have measured the distance from the base point to 1 and we have cut a point from 1 to P1 similarly from base point to 2 and 2 to P2 base point to 3 and it cuts from 3 to P3 similarly we have got all these points P1 up to P8 and then we have connected all these points using free end so that is the involute and for drawing the tangent in the normal we have selected a point as given in the question that is 80 mm from the center we have drawn an arc from 80 mm from the center that lies here so from that point we have drawn a straight line to the center and we have divided that center uh, that line into two equal parts and we had a center from that center we have drawn an arc and uh, that arc will be cutting the circle in one point that point should be connected to the point already that we have defined so that will be the normal if you draw a perpendicular line to that that will be your tangent hope you have understood if you have any clarifications feel free to comment thank you